Hey guys, Shadney back with a, another process video and um, today I'm doing an Easter photo. Well, kind of an Easter photo. It's an Easter, almost Easter photo. <laughs> this photo was when we were doing, um, we were dying eggs two years ago, 2019 I believe. And um, so it wasn't on Easter, but it was Easter and India's wearing her little bunny rabbit glasses. My mom got the girls. So, um, first of all, all I've done is I've pulled out several sheets of six by eight paper that I want to use as layering bits. I've just, even like, um, this one I just inked, um, is a six by six and I don't know. Oh, there was a hole. Um, cause it was a six by six paper pad. There was the hole in the top of it. And I'm just going through and inking the edges of everything. That little note card is a Felicity Jane. And then this little hexagon piece and the other one are pieces from, leftover pieces from that sheet that I used last week on the blast ball layout. Um, I just cut out what I could of what was left of it and, um, just set it aside to use on another layout eventually and this one it I just thought it went pretty well with it and it adds to the layers of all the layers behind the photo sorry my brain <laughs> um so once I have all the edges inked of all those layers I'm just gonna start layering things up together oh I forgot to layer that one I mean to ink that one um and this is just I think it's Twilight, I think it's the color. I can't remember. I'm sorry. It was there on the screen a second ago, but it is a, it's the darker, maybe it's the lighter. It's the darker or the lighter of the two grays from the Kath and Puller inks. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm really bad today. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so for every layer of paper I'm doing here, I'm going through and just running my fingernails underneath just to give it a little bit of texture. Um, I'm not like scratching it or adding um, any real, I'm not distressing it is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm just lifting those edges up a little bit so that it's not completely flat everywhere. So I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want um, these papers to layer over each other because what I'm doing is once I have that adhered down I'm going to go in and cut off the excess of it so that I can use that on another page layer especially just because it's um the text print I I just like that text print um the gingham I probably wouldn't be have been as careful with or saved if I hadn't saved the text print um I just it doesn't matter that much to me but the text print I really wanted so this six by six paper that has the florals all over it, I am going to run that behind. I just tore it down the middle. It doesn't matter where it was torn because all I wanted was for it to, um, I, tear, I tore it so that I could stretch it across, but I do have trouble with this because this, those three papers that are stacked together are, um, kind of wonky. And I want them kind of tilted, kind of wonky. But once I put that six by six paper, I have so much trouble because it's so wonky. And I don't want it that wonky. So I'm trying to reposition it over and over. And thankfully, I used the Koyoko um, adhesive runner for those because I could tear it off, like pull it off and reposition it as many times as I needed to. And then I finally pull out the ruler and think that's gonna help. So I finally get it put together after way too many tries. And yeah, after that, I'm just going to go ahead and run this tear tape all the way across the back. Um, this is the three quarters inch wide tear tape, I think. I got it from a cherry on top and it's, I can't remember the brand, but it has a, like a letter X in it, in the name of it, like express or extreme or ex something. It has an X. Um, and then I have just this little craft bag and I was going to tie a little bow and have it like several layers deep. But once I get it in there with the three 
the three ply of it um it's not long enough for a bow so I just tie a good knot and then leave the ed um the ends out and just trim it a little bit um I'm using tear tape on the back of that as well just because sometimes the um, tape roller whenever it's thinner paper like that sometimes it wants to tear the paper so that made it a little bit easier I do put this off to the side just a little bit just um to overlap over there and then I pull the photo back to the left so I have enough room on the right to put that little bunny the little wooden bunny ears um that is from my Etsy shop the don't worry be hoppy and then um the hello easter up there are chipboard pieces from no the hello is a chipboard piece the easter is a sticker that i put um stampin dimensionals behind to pop it up and then i'm going to use stampin dimensionals to attach these little uh hexagon pieces down at the bottom and up at the top um, of that photo and I think it just gives it a little bit more texture and interest. Um, it's not anything super exciting. It just adds a little bit something. Um, and then I used Stamp Dimensionals to add those down just so that it keeps that texture. And because the Stamp Dimensionals are super thin foam, I feel like you don't have to use as much. Um, because even if it falls, like it, it doesn't collapse down. The paper if that makes sense um if you put like if you put a photo on just a couple like foam dots usually if it will like sag in the middle and then it'll like leave weird bends and creases in your photo um once it's in your album for a while well with the stamp dimensionals because they're so thin like such thin foam you get enough dimension that you get the interest you want without having the problem of your photos or your paper sagging like that in the middle or denting and bending anything like that um so I just used some scrap pieces of fun foam down the back of this photo and then I'm kind of um tucking it into that hexagon piece so it makes it fit in real nice and then I'm using Stampin' Dimensionals to add this wood veneer piece um I like to use foam to add larger wood veneer pieces because it gives it more um it makes it more pliable whenever it's in your album um and you're turning your pages it doesn't make it super super stiff and you don't you have less of a chance of um it breaking if that makes sense like this one doesn't have a big chance of breaking because it isn't really that big but especially like the um the border strips and stuff I think those do a little bit better on the foam especially because sometimes depending on your moisture and stuff in the air um your wood can warp a little bit and so when you have the foam back there it gives it some wiggle room whereas if it was glued directly to the page it would end up warping your page your whole page um behind the wood piece as well as the wood I mean because of the wood piece so anyways I pulled out some freckled fawn little um what are these called tile 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 alphas um and I love freckled fawns tile alphas but for some reason this color was having a hard time coming off of the sticker it was the the colored part was trying to peel off of the backing the sticker backing so I was having a little bit of trouble there but we got it all worked out and then I'm just adding some little um wooden pieces from the Easter sprinkles pack and then this little blue bunny I I had to use the blue bunny because her glasses are blue and they're bunnies and it just matched perfectly so I had to add that of course and then I'm pulling out some scrap and happy studio flare and just adding a few of those on here one says um you are some bunny special and then i think the other one says something about the bunny trail and i thought that was cute um so i just stuck those on there and they all they both had um all those colors the same kind of colors that are in the background of the egg paper and in my head i was going to gut some of that egg paper so it didn't all get covered up and i could use them to fussy cut later but i completely forgot and then stuck all this stuff down so not a big deal but that is what happened 
Um, these are little puffy stickers from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got them last year, but I think they have them this year. I don't know. I can't remember if I saw them or if I'm making that up in my head, but I feel like I saw them. Um, my sister got them for me last year though. They were super fun. And I used Stampin' Dimensionals to add them just because I needed to add some extra adhesive and I just thought that would, I don't know. I like Stampin' Dimensionals. They're super, super, super sticky. Um, and that's another thing why I like using them for the wood veneer because they actually hold the wood veneer. Um, like some, what are they called? Some foam dots and stuff aren't that super sticky, but they're super like glue dot sticky. Um, so I'm just going through and adding a few little bits and pieces, little sprinkly bits around the page, um, some little wooden flowers. And I don't think I add a whole lot of um, um, sprinkly bits on this one because the background is so busy and as well as with all the layers, it just adds a lot going on on the page. Um, I do pull out some of these little hearts from Chamel's Head and Clouds. Um, I have two packages is why I have two sheets in there. Um, and I just combined them because, I mean, why not? <laughs> just made it easier. And um, so I was doing that and some of those I added with just straight down. And then that one at the top, I think I added a stamp and dimensional but it was mostly two um, because that pink heart is on top of the pink egg. So using the same dimensional, it gives it a little bit more oomph, like from the background paper, if that makes sense. Um, I added in some little gold hearts around and these weren't anything super special, but I have like a little stash of um, some embellishments that I'm trying to use up, stuff I've had for a long time. Oh, sorry, I just dropped my phone. Um, stuff I've had for a long time, but it's just not done being used. Um, they're just still kind of hanging around. So I'm trying to use up some of those bits and pieces. Added a little bow up here. And then I think that's pretty much it. I can't remember. Um, I don't think I added any journaling on this, but I'll probably go back and add just a little bit of journaling later. Um... I am adding something, but I don't know what it is right here. Maybe sequins? We'll see. <laughs> Sorry, I did this layout last week. And honestly, it was supposed to go up on Saturday. And I just failed at all of that and getting everything. Oh, it's the little bunny head sequins from the shop. They're super cute and teeny tiny. And they come in like a variety of like blues and pinks and yellows. Like just a whole mix. They're really pretty. But um... I just sprinkled some of those around just to give it a little bit more sparkle and some, I don't know, a different texture. I feel like it was all, I don't know, it felt weird to me. It just needed some sparkle or some something with a little bit more movement. And I feel like that definitely gives it to you. Because when you turn the page, you'll see those will catch your eye a little bit more with the sun. I mean, with the light. And then that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, oh yeah, I added some of these little um, acrylic flowers. I forgot about those, the little pink ones just around. And I used Nuvo Drops to add those. And I didn't add flower centers. So um, it didn't really bother me. But um, if I wanted to, I would just go in with some Nuvo Drops and add flower centers. Um, I am sitting in my car doing this voiceover. So you hear an airplane right now. I'm so sorry. Oh no, I do do journaling just a little bit down there at the bottom. Okay, sorry. This is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all have a had a wonderful Easter and you have a wonderful day today. And yeah, so happy scrapping. Bye.